All right, so I got my TX6 here about a week ago. I've completed all the upgrades I'm gonna do to it. Those upgrades being the battery bay mod. You see a lot of YouTube videos about cutting out the grill on the back so that you can sit the quad flat and then power on after doing so. I've gone one step further with uh, the battery capacity mod, running two in parallel. Charges a little bit curiously because it's, you know, it's two, two S's running in parallel. You can still use one balance port from one battery. Um, it seems to be working. Uh, what am I at here? I'm 2800 ma total runtime. I've seen a video of someone got 30 minutes of runtime just hovering it in their room. I'm sure that equates to probably more like 20 minutes of actual flight, but yeah, it's probably double of the original 10 from one battery pack considering the, the added weight. Um, so yeah, battery bay mod, battery capacity mod. I've done the SEMA 5.8 gigahertz FPV and I've slung that beneath the second battery pack. You can see the landing skid mod that I've done. There's quite a few of those out there. Most seem to add a lot more weight than what I've done here. Uh, I'll just briefly go over that real, real quick. I don't know if I can get the right angle here. Uh, slightly down from where it actually fastens to the quad, the stock landing gears have a support bracket. There you go. It's a beam that runs across this curious V-shaped landing skid. Uh, landing gear, landing arm, I guess leg whatever um, after that point it's it's hollow all the way to the tip in the factory so I cut about an inch of the factory one off purchased some small I'm not too sure what the diameter is of this ABS plastic um, after cutting the original one down by an inch I put this one down halfway so you get a huge amount of strength from that cross beam and then right here you get a max amount of stiffness because you've compressed it and then all the way through it's super solid I think this is the lightest strongest mod that I've seen for the landing skids for the TX6. Um, last mod, I think I posted a video already about that, was these little pill caps to cover up your drive gears. I don't think that needs to be open for ventilation. I think that's just purely so that you can... Uh, so when you do need to replace your motors, you have access to pulling out the drive gear. You know, lots of crap can get up in there, obviously, so boom, it's a simple press fit, and that snaps in real nice once you found the right size. That completes it. Those are all the mods that I've done. Give it another couple weeks. I'll have these, you know, protector, you know, prop protectors off, and that'll give me a little bit lighter weight. Yeah. Opinions. What do you think the mods? What do you think the overall look? I'm, I'm really digging it.